It's the weekend. How about them Sooners last night? We got trounced by Johnny Football, Johnny Heisman, Johnny Manziel. Guy looks like he's pretty good to me. But what we got here is we got a few little sky watching things for the new year. In case you haven't seen or read. I will go through them. Talking about Pan Stars and the new one, Ison. Pan Stars is C twenty eleven L four. They've known about that one since last, or you know, going on two years ago, twenty eleven. The Ison is C twenty twelve S one. They claim they just found this one in September. And they could blaze as bright pan stars, Venus in March. And then they're calling this here Ison. Could outshine the moon to the comet of the century if it can survive its perihelion pass. They claim it'll be a striking display in the morning sky. And the time range would be November, December at the end of the year. It has a big tail. Supposedly the results were extremely favorable viewing circumstances just as the Great Comet of 1680s. Let's see. Visible in the Northern Hemisphere. Unlike Comet McNaught and Lovejoy. And we we've already we've already gotten into this quadranted meteors. And then we're going into April for a lunar partial lunar eclipse. Visible from Europe, Africa, Asia, and the Pacific. The other two are nearly imperceptible. May 25th and deeper penumbral on October 18th, 19th. Here's Pan Stars. This would be March the 5th. It's going to make the turn around the sun, perihelion on the 9th and the 10th. On the 12th, it supposedly will share the sunset's afterglow with a crescent moon. On the 9th and 10th of May, we've got an annual solar eclipse. Australia, Papua New Guinea, and the South Pacific roll across there. The partial solar eclipse visible from some of the Pacific. Talk about a planetary party, May 24th to 28th, Mercury, Venus, and Jupiter. In the western skies, the Saturn and the Moon nearby. big event may well be the Venus-Jupiter conjunction on the 28th but it won't be as good as the double planet feature in February. They go into June 23rd for another supermoon Perseid meteors on August 11th to the 13th November the 3rd is a hybrid solar eclipse. They say it's a strange one. 
starting out as an annular ring of fire eclipse and turning into a total eclipse. And then of course you've got November, December for Comet Ison. And we got uh, next autumn astronomers should have a good idea of how much those, a phenomenon this can turn into. The Curiosity rover may be able to snap some pictures when ISON passes by Mars in September could become visible to naked eye in October. Maybe. Due to come with a million miles within a million miles of the Sun That'll be the perihelion. Dramatic moment. Some comets like Elenin break up when they come around the side. Others like Lovejoy survive. And they have a special bonus round. He's talking about <clears throat> all these things grouped together with the Northern Lights and the Aurora. And you have a, a blog that's been set up waiting for ISON. So they're expecting ISON to be a pretty big deal. DA-14, I still say it's just going to be something to look at. It's not going to be a... Nothing's going to hit the planet. It's not time for anything to get hit yet. So, there are some of the highlights of things overhead. that we are told will be happening throughout this year. So what do you think of the Mayan stuff, huh? The 2012 date. What is your opinion on the return of their god that nobody can find that returned? Does this mean that the dating uh, We haven't got the date right. Maybe December 21st is not the real December 21st. Who knows? If they were so accurate though, and they had that built into, what, Monument 6? If that was transcribed right? Then what are we left to think? Are we left to think that these gods of theirs were not meant to come back in the actual flesh? I don't think so. Because if they were supposedly here in the actual flesh, coming back means in the actual flesh. So I don't cop out to some of the New Age, or any New Age thought, or one that would say that perhaps it's just a heightened consciousness where each individual incorporates the spirit of the gods within their own self. Possession is one thing, but having the spirit of their gods inside you cannot, to me, equal their return. So, I still think we got some more. Evil is always around. It just needs a place to get into. Which I would be into your heart and your mind. To help you make wrong choices. Commit wrong acts. Be more successful. 
uh, susceptible to their influence. Temptations. I must say, I believe it was Thursday. It would be. It would be. Yeah, Thursday, I believe it was, when I got off of work at midnight. The moon looked really big in the sky. Over to the east, southeast, low in the horizon at that time. I mean, it looked similar in how big it was to the March 11th tsunami. But uh, it wasn't in the same position. But I will say, it, it surely grabbed my eye. I wish I'd have had my camera with me at that time, but I wouldn't. I could see it moving every so often, you know. Different times of the night, whenever I was outside. For a few minutes, but it didn't look that big until midnight. So, did anybody else see how big that thing looked? It was quite large in the view. Well, I'm going to get off here now. I got a couple other little things to bring you, and I'll speak to all of you soon. God bless and take care.